Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to fix this error right here that you may be getting on Discord that it is permanently stuck loading. This is a common error that a lot of people get, so I'm going to go through a couple of necessary steps that you have to do to try and get rid of this error and fix it yourself. But yeah guys, make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly. So you can make sure this works the same for you and that you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do guys, go ahead and open up the official Discord application and try logging into your account. If you are trying and you keep getting stuck on the server, then there are a couple of th things that you can try and do. The first thing guys is to make sure there isn't an update pending. So you want to do that by going right here to your taskbar and then right clicking on the Discord application and click on check for updates. After clicking that guys, it will check if you have any updates and you will want to try and go update your application. After it is updated, you want to go ahead and try logging in and if you are still, still stuck on this, then you can try a couple of other things. As you can see when googling for the error, there are a couple of things that you can do. One of them is to check your internet connection that it is stable and that you have internet and the Discord servers aren't down. So you want to type in is Discord down in Google and see if the server is down. As you can see, they are not down now. So that is not a problem. But guys, then what you can do is to try and run Discord as an administrator. So go ahead and exit out the application and find the application and right click on it and click on run as administrator and it still will not help. Sometimes even that will not help. So guys, what you want to do is to go ahead and deinstall the application. So you want to delete the application off your PC and download it again from the official website and install the application again. As usually, this will pre fix your problem and you will uh, fix it yourself. But yeah guys, basically those are the steps that you can try, so I hope this video was helpful, if it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So guys, thank you for watching, take care and bye.